Before I start today's video, here's wishing everybody a Merry Christmas and an upcoming Happy New Year. May all your wishes come true. If you use Windows, you know that it is always good to have a partition drive, for example, using Drive C as your main drive for installed software and running applications, and then sort of a spare drive at the side to store your important stuff like photos, videos, and files. In this way, when you upgrade your computer or you need to format your computer, you only need to work on Drive C which is your main running drive and not touch the other drive which could possibly cause big problems if you accidentally format your whole computer and you might just lose everything. In today's video, I will show you how to create a new drive easily in your Windows PC. Hey what's up everyone, I'm Steph and in this channel, I teach you quick daily tech tips that make your life a little easier. Click on the Windows Start button and you can search for Disk Partition. Here it brings you to your Disk Management page. Let's say I want to partition and create a new drive under Data D Drive. Select Data D and then right click and select Shrink Volume. Here you see I have about 300 gigabytes of this space. Let's say I want to create a new drive with 100 gigabytes. Once I'm done, click on shrink. Now you can see the existing D drive has been shrunk from 300 gig to 200 gig. And there is a new unallocated space which has about 100 gig. Right click on this unallocated space and select new simple volume. This will bring you to this new simple volume wizard. Click on next and you can specify the simple volume size. We will leave it as default and click on next. Since we already have drive C and D, I will name this as drive E and click next. The last part is to format this drive E with either NTFS or XFAT and I will select NTFS as the file system. Click next. Click finish. The computer will format this new drive and when it is done, you will see a new volume drive E appearing on your disk management page. To check, open up File Explorer and you can see under this PC, you have drive E ready to be used. I hope today's video was easy to understand and if you like more of such videos, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Until the next video, I'm Steph once again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, enjoy, take care and bye bye.